Nice. So, let me briefly introduce to you our board member for sales and marketing, Martin Jan, our head of design, Oliver Stefani, and our board member for technical development, Johannes Neft. And of course, our main protagonists, the Enyaq Coupe IV and the Enyaq Coupe RS IV. So, Johannes, hey, we've seen you kayaking and uh, it looked pretty cold actually. <laughs> you bet it was, it was really cold. <laughs> but going beyond the limits, that is what sport's all about, isn't it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. But sportiness is a good point. Uh, let's talk about this car. Yeah, this is a really sports car with an acceleration from zero to 100 in 6.5 seconds. Yeah, but actually that's not the only point where we are increasing speed, right? Nah, for sure, not only that. Uh, we also increased the charging time and uh, we reach now a charging from 10 to 80% under 30 minutes. Wow, wow, And amazing. that's not the only improvement which we are having. We are also reaching more range and we are now at 545 kilometers. Okay, I guess it's also because of the coupe shape, correct? Yeah, for sure. Most important thing are the aerodynamics. And we are reaching now a drag coefficient of 0.234, which is really outstanding. Amazing. So coming to the coupe shape, I would say Oli is a good uh, partner to talk about, right? For sure, Oli will tell us everything about the shape and he's the best guy to do that. Okay, Oli, the stage is yours. The Enya Coupe RS IV, what a beautiful car. We see here also the one with the crystal face, uh, the full LED headlight that we have here, all these glossy high black elements that we have on the bottom of the car makes the car really sporty. Super short overhang, which is very nice. But uh, now we have to look at the side and this is really gorgeous. Look at this line, the flow line that we have here, the roof line, how it uh, goes to the end, how dynamic it is and how elegant it looks, how sporty it makes the car. Together with this uh, surface treatment that we have here and in the front, it makes the car really dynamic, sporty, muscular, very good uh, attraction. Painted rocker panel, this makes the side view really beautiful, outstanding, very nice. Also the window graphic, how it stops here. And it ends here, the side ends in this tail light, the LED, full LED tail light, which is really also designed very sharp, very crisp, and it fits very nice to the rest of the car. Then we have this nice, designed 21 inch wheels for the car, also are dynamically optimized. And the mamba green color, which is also unique for this RS version. We have this also indicated here in our new logo, the VRS logo. And also when you look in the interior, you see the mamba green sketching and the linen that we have in the seats and the interior. It makes the car super beautiful. I think this car will be highly visible on the roads and our customers will love to drive it. Oli, thanks a lot. Amazing work, I must say. Uh, and Martin, when we look at this car, it's, it's really a dynamic, beautiful car. How does it match with our brand's mission? Yeah, it matches perfectly uh, because Skoda has a long tradition of uh, coupe cars. In the 30s, we had the popular Monte Carlo. In the 70s, we had the 110R uh, and now uh, the beautiful ENIAC uh, Coupe IV. And one of our brand values is also surprising. So I can say this car is uh, surprisingly beautiful and it also has a surprisingly big uh, boot, uh, even though it's a coupe shape. Uh, the boot space is only 15 liters uh, smaller and because we use the glazed uh, roof, uh, uh, the space on the uh, rear uh, passenger seat is also quite big, so even I can sit there comfortably. Yeah. When we look at this one, the RS version, in the beginning we will only sell in the first half year the RS version. Uh, explain the reason behind it. Well, first of all, uh, uh, this RS version follows up on the success of Octavia and Kodiak RS. Uh, and by the way, this is the most powerful RS uh, version uh, ever produced in series uh, by Škoda. And it provides uh, uh, excellent uh, joy of the ride and it's really exclusive. And we want to offer this exclusivity to the first customer. So in the first couple of months, we only offer the RS version. And then, of course, uh, the normal Coupe version will follow. So now the most important question, when do you open the order books? Uh, right now, so customers can uh, uh, order the car from uh, now on, uh, but please uh, hurry <laughs> up uh, because it will be sold out soon. Martin, thanks a lot. Uh, Thank I think the customer will definitely enjoy the car. And now the final words go to our CEO for sure, Thomas Schäfer. Thomas, the stage is yours. 
Dear friends of Skoda, it was great to see these cars on the big screen at the cinema, but it's even more impressive to stand next to them and experience them live. The Enyaq Coupe IV and Enyaq Coupe RS IV are the perfect complement to our existing Enyaq IV lineup. Thanks to their outstanding design, they're enhancing the emotive appeal of electromobility at Skoda. I'm convinced that our customers are going to love these cars and that e-mobility will become even more popular as a result. Dear guests, the Enyaq IV product family is only the start of our e-mobility campaign. We already have three more electric vehicles on the way that will be introduced in the coming years. In Europe, we are aiming for a share of fully electric Skoda models of 50 to 70 percent by 2030, depending on market developments, of course. Because one thing is clear, the future in Europe is electric. And we at Skoda are ready for it. Thank you, Thomas. And thank you all for joining the Enyaq Coupe IV world premiere. As always, you find all information on Skoda Storyboard. Take care. Stay healthy.